Design Group. We are really, really, really excited to have everybody here, especially with this weather. So thank you all for coming today um, and welcome to the Spencer School of Architecture. I would like to ask if everybody can just quiet down for the program. For, for a little bit. Um, so my name is Vanessa Alisea. I am a graduate of the Spitzer School of Architecture. I graduated in, in 05. I was in Shepherd Hall. Um, I'm president of the Architecture Alumni Group, and I'm really excited to welcome everybody here today. Um, we're, we have uh, some, some great announcements today, and we have some really exciting honorees, and we're really happy to see our students here, our alumni here, our faculty here, and also some of our admin and staff who have joined us for this evening. So just by a quick show of hands, how many of you are students here now? Uh, but as the construction manager has been left, 
was leaking then and said, it is what it is. So, uh, sorry about the leak. Uh, yes, this is a really special uh, spring event because it marks our 50th year as a school of architecture. Uh, the program in architecture dates back to the early 50s and before, but as an accredited full school of architecture, we started in uh, actually in the spring of 1969. Uh, we've done a lot of things. The school has gone through a number of major changes in that period and, and you know, really achieved some fabulous things. Of course, we moved up from uh, Curry Building down at Broadway on 33rd Street to Shepherd, where we spent about 15 years. Uh, we're very pleased, incidentally, to have our mini commencement on Friday in the Great Hall. It's sort of like going home. But um, we then, of course, moved here from Shepherd in 2009. Uh, and leaks and all, uh, this has been a tremendous place to be. You know, also in 2009, the Spitzer family showed their uh, confidence in the quality and in the growth and the progress of our school by really uh, giving us a, a very, very generous gift. And that gift continues to support our faculty, our students, uh, and uh, really be an important factor in our growth uh, and in our uh, ability to attain excellence. We've done a lot of great things this year. I'm not going to go through too many of them. Because probably the major thing that's happened, and I know people are waiting for this. Now, this isn't quite uh, a formal announcement because the uh, CUNY uh, board needs to do the final approval. It's a done deal, not a problem, but I can't and haven't been able to formally announce this. But, uh, and I'll just go to going back to our 50 year history, we've had five permanent deans and three acting deans, or interim deans, over our 50 year history. Um, we also had an acting director for a while. We've had a kind of checkered history when it comes to those things. However, I'm pleased to announce that on December 2nd of this coming year, of this year, the sixth permanent dean uh, will join us. So we have a permanent dean who will arrive at the school around uh, December 2nd. Dr. Leslie Loco is a UK trained Scottish Ghanaian architect in academic and, and an academic and a best selling novelist. Uh, she has taught and practiced architecture for the past 25 years in schools in the UK, the US, and South Africa. She is currently director of the Graduate School of Architecture at the University of Johannesburg, a school she set up in 2015. She's known for and published work on the relationship between race, cultural identity, and the nature of African, uh, African architectural space. She has lectured widely in Europe, the US, Australia, and across Africa. Uh, a formal announcement will be released shortly. Uh, uh, in it is included a quote, which I will uh, go into right now. Uh, my aim is to place SSA firmly at the center of local and global debates through partnership and dialogue. It's a, it's a unique school, we know that. It's a, unique, it's a unique school, and there, these are uniquely interesting and challenging times. Now, I, I urge all of you to mark in your calendar the alumni winter event, because she will be here at that point and be an excellent, excellent time for you to get to know Dr. Leslie Voco, and we look forward to welcoming her in the same. So, uh, I urge you to all enjoy the evening, and I congratulate the honorees. I'm really pleased for both of you. And uh, I look forward to talking to you all this evening. Thank you, Ted. So I'd like to invite um, Al Dalia um, up to present our first award. Um, Al is currently uh, president of the Alumni Association for City College as a whole. Um, so it's really exciting to see that we have architecture representation over the whole alumni association as well. So he's asked to say a few words um, to recognize work. Thank you. Um, before I talk about Bert, City College, we're talking 50 years. The City College Alumni Association was 
founded by the first graduating class in 1853 and is the longest running alumni association connected to a public institution. We're very proud of that. Uh, personally, the architectural alumni, of which I'm one of the founding members, along with several of you in this group, I believe we got our start in 1985. Before that, we were enrolled into the engineering alumni, so we managed to stake our own claim, and I think it's been very successful. Uh, and I'm thrilled to see the attendance tonight. So I asked to speak a few words uh, on behalf of a very good friend of mine, Bert Rosner. Uh, Bert and I went to school, but I never knew him here. He uh, much older than I am. He graduated in 72, I graduated in 73, so. Uh, but one morning on the Long Island Railroad platform, I ran into him and he sort of said, you look familiar? And I said, yeah, you look familiar. And there was a bond. We lived about a half a mile from each other out of Long Island. Uh, we both had uh, boys that uh, I think our oldest uh, was born in 79. And uh, Bert, as he always does, convinced me to become a member of the board of one of the largest soccer clubs on Long Island. A great experience. Bert then convinced me to get involved with an organization called SARA, of which he was president. And that was a lot of fun. It seemed wherever I went with Bert, he convinced me to donate more and more of my time, of which I didn't have a whole lot. But Bert has had his own firm, SKM, for 11 years. He's been an AI mem AIA member, I believe, 43 years. Uh, as I said, a coach and a fellow friend of mine since 1984. Uh, and what Burt really stands for is outstanding. You don't see many architects going back to the days of the master builder. And if you read his bio and you read some of his uh, speeches and so on, uh, he's a firm believer in it starts and stops with the architect. It's up to us to be responsible to educate our clients as to really what we bring to the table. So um, I've always admired him for doing that. Uh, he continues to do that, uh, and I do want to read a couple of his awards because I think it tells you the kind of person he is. Uh, he has become a fellow in the AIA. Uh, AIA State has awarded him the Delgado Award, if I'm saying that correctly, for notable uh, competence. He has an AIA National Award for Public Service. The state has honored with him, uh, him with a design citation. And I think one of the coolest things was in 2004, he was chosen as the owner's rep to oversee the construction of the AIA headquarters downtown, uh, which still stands today as quite a, quite a phenomenal facility for architects. So please welcome up Bert Roslin. Thank you all for this honor. I was interviewed this evening, and some of the questions were, what did I take from City College as an architect? And I can tell you that it was an understanding of the role that we as a profession, that we as individuals, have to play in protecting our society. We create it, and we need to ensure it continues. I go back to the School of Architecture to a time when I had hair and Gordon wasn't gray. <laughs> but City College is always at a very special place for me. I am a product of New York. I've grown up in New York. I've lived my entire life in New York. Without City College, I don't know that I would have become an architect. Mm. But it has been an incredible experience. Hallelujah for some of the things. I look back on it and I can't think of anything I would rather have done with my life than be an architect. And I say that to you students, future graduates, make the most of every minute you can in this profession. It will give back to you in ways you will never believe. So again, thank you.
forgive me if I don't say the whole evening. My wife is a survivor of a stroke three years ago. She's been home alone since 8 o'clock this morning. So I will stay for your own glory and then soon she'll forgive me. And that's all. I'm sorry, our board secretary, Kate Spada. She will be presenting this next award. where she's been a full-time faculty member since 2008. She teaches architecture design studios and courses on housing, site technology and design, techniques of urban analysis, and retrofitting suburban form. Her current SSA studio is Housing 55 Plus, the third in a series of advanced studio offerings on the theme of designing for better suburban futures. Uh, futures yeah. She is the author of Designing Suburban Futures, New Models from a Building a Better Burr, Island Press 2013, and co-author with Alan Dunham Jones of the award-winning Retrofitting Suburbia, Urban Design Solutions for Redesigning Suburbs. Over a 30-year professional and academic career, she has practiced and taught architecture and urban design in New York City, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Salt Lake City, and Boston. Currently, she is an elected member of the Board of Directors of the Association of Collegiate Schools of Architecture. Um, June received the BA with distinction in architecture from Yale University and an MR from MIT and MEP in urban design from the CCMI uh, School of Architecture. Um, I'm really excited to present this award to you. I had June as my professor in fourth year, and I can't think of someone who's more deserving of it. Architectural Alumni Association Board and all the members who are here today. Thank you. Uh, in many ways, the, the timing couldn't be better for me to receive this recognition. It's incredibly gratifying. I feel like I've been toiling here in the trenches, the teaching trenches, uh, for a while, uh, not really seeking the limelight that much, just trying to do the best job of teaching that I could. Uh, while also doing research, writing, organizing competitions, working on grants, doing pro bono work. The AIA Communities by Design program is excellent, and I've really enjoyed working with that. But these are all of the things that we do as, as faculty here. Um, last year, in my 10th year full-time on the faculty, um, 13 years after graduating from the Urban Design program, class of 2005, Melissa, um, I ran for an open seat on the board of directors of the ACSA, the Association of Collegiate Schools of Architecture, and won. So I'm third of the way into a three-year term. And then just last month, I ran for chair of the architecture department here at, uh, at the Spitzer School, and won. So also a, a three-year term that I'm looking forward to beginning on July 3rd. So, both of these roles are, are super challenging, uh, requiring me to spread my wings, exercise dormant muscles, uh, acquire new skills, and spend more time with all of you and get to know you uh, better. Uh, so it's going to be a stimulating uh, next few years with the new dean coming in in December. Uh, so we've got a transition period that I hope to really be involved in uh, with you, with the students, with my faculty colleagues, with our fantastic uh, staff. And I'm excited to give back in ways that will benefit our students. Um, our greatest resource for the future of the design profession and the reason that we're all here. So, thank you very much. I'd like to call up Yulia Elizarov um, to present the student scholarships. So each year we give um, two student scholarships to four, uh, fourth year undergraduate students. 
They received their uh, a sort of a certificate earlier today, and it will actually get presented at the um, at the fall uh, City College overall alumni association dinner. But we want to take a moment to recognize them as well. So, Yulia. I hope I say their names correctly. Uh, both our fourth year students, we have Etsy Deutsch and Christopher Lynn. You guys here? You just get to stay next to me. That's, um, that's it. We will, we will honor you at the next award ceremony, but thank you so much for your achievements and scholarship, and we're really excited to honor you. Thank you. Round of applause for Christopher. And Christopher will be receiving a thousand dollar scholarship for his efforts here. Well, it's record time. So um, thank you everybody. Thank you to the honorees, Bert and June. We're really excited um, to honor you tonight and we encourage uh, people who are around definitely um, say hello and, and, and get a chance to talk to them. Um, I would like to um, take a moment to recognize any of the faculty in the room. If you can raise your hand if you're faculty. I also encourage you to reach out to the students. Next time we'll do color-coded name tags so we know uh, who's, who's in which program. Um, another question, how many of you uh, graduated from the landscape architecture program? You? Okay, good. Um, what about the urban design program? So one of the things that we're really trying to do this year is try and build our, our network outside of just the architecture group and really try and connect back with some of our landscape and urban design um, alumni as well. Uh, we don't have as much of a stronger tie um, with, with those programs, so we really hope to sort of expand that. Um, if you are on the board of directors, um, can you um, stand up and be recognized right now for the architecture alumni group? joined our board as committee members, um, and if you are one of our committee members on uh, communications, professional development, um, social, uh, what are the other two? Membership. Membership and women in design. And women in design. Please raise your hand. Thank you. And I would also like to uh, recognize our new historian. Dalton Whiteside, raise your hand. So he's going to be working with us to really help document um, and archive uh, a good, a good history of the School of Architecture Design. So we're really excited uh, to be working on that. And um, the medal, if you get a chance, or the plaque that was um, given to our two honorees tonight was actually designed. Uh, by, by Dalton, but with uh, a few of us uh, collaborating on it, and it's, it's really, it's nice, uh, if you look at it, it should work, right? It, it, it actually, it, it measures out, so, so you can take a look at it when you get a chance. Um, so we have a few exciting things planned in the, in the future. We are looking at starting a mentorship program, a more formal mentor program, where we're going to be partnering alumni with students. So there's a sign-up sheet in the front, and you will be receiving emails about this. We really want to create a more formal mentorship relationship uh, with, with our alumni and the students. So stay tuned for updates on that. Um, we also are looking at doing a series of professional development uh, classes that we are trying to engage some alumni as, as teachers of. 
one of which, uh, I, Mikhail, I see Mikhail and Susie here, so I, I thank you so much. We, we haven't fully finalized the date, but they're going to be helping us with the Revit training course with their company, which is For Ideal, right? For Ideal. So we're going to be working on a three-day uh, Revit training course, basic, and all of the proceeds of that course will actually be going towards a scholarship, so we're really excited about that. Um, we also are going to be um, doing a... Uh, I did that. Is that, that the What up? What up? Oh. Speed mentoring will happen in the fall. Um, the winter event, we are going to be, um, we don't have a date yet, but we will be coordinating that with the new dean. So when, when, we, when we find out, it will be after December 2nd. We're really excited um, about that. Ah, yes. Um, Kathleen, Christina, Crystal, Big Dalton, Sharice, can you raise your hands? So they may be doing interviews too, I'm not sure. Um, so they are a part of the communications team and they've been doing uh, video interviews. So there's a few of you who might have gotten interviewed today and there will be, be a series of requests over the course of the, the year to really um, try and get some video interviews. Uh, to really look at how we can create more of an archive. We'll look on our website, but we're also looking at curating a, a more formal set of content out of, out of the interview. So stay tuned for that. If you want to be interviewed, then let us know as well. If you haven't already been contacted, we're going to be uh, working on that. And um, yeah, so we have uh, an exciting fall. Uh, I do think that we're going to be uh, putting out a call for the 2019-2020 Board of Directors. So there's going to be, if you are interested in becoming more active with the board um, or on a committee, there'll be an email that will be going out and we encourage um, new new members to, to participate and get involved. So with that, um, I'd like to say thank you to everybody and um, enjoy each other. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.